As part of my interview, the drum major actually asked me, she was like, well, would you like to know how many members we have? I said, sure. So I'm thinking the numbers will be about 48, 64. She said, we have six people. I said, are you serious? Many people might have said thanks, but no thanks after hearing that shocker. It was okay, I can work with that. She accepted the job and immediately went to work recruiting. So we launched a variety of campaigns using social media, word of mouth, um, holding a meet and greet town hall style um, forum for alumni, parents, and students to come out. Um, that has been very effective. Um, I believe as of today on record, we have about 68 to 71 students in the program. So now I would like to try to push towards 80 or 96, but we're comfortable with the number that we have now. It is a successful number, and we can start looking for our target for next year, which I'll be targeting 96 to 128 people. Five, six, ready, move. One. It got a little easier over time, just a little bit. When I first got here in June, I was probably averaging 80 to 90 hours a week, um, Monday through Saturday, and some Sundays at one point. Now I'm strictly Monday through Fridays. I do not work on weekends unless there's a performance. Now I do not take calls after 6 p.m. One saving grace, one of the six returning members she had to begin with was her drum major, Khadija Lockhart. It is very helpful because she's very knowledgeable about the position already. She has experience as a collegiate drum major, which is very different from being a high school drum major. It is a different level of responsibility in addition to managing her classes and keeping her grades up as well. So having that knowledge is great. We just have one drum major this year, but the students and the staff are aware that my goal for next year is to have three drum majors and have that become the standard for this program going forward. Along the way, she has shown her band some love. It's more of a nurturing environment, the motherly nature. And some tough love. Oh, I can be pretty tough. I need you to feel the beat and know that, hey, I don't move until count eight. Understand? Listen. Let's take it back to the top and let's do it like you have some sense. I'm definitely strict and stern, but I'm fair and consistent. Um, I do nurture, I do teach, but I also hold the students accountable. This year's band might have humble beginnings, but Brock's dreams are huge, like, really big. One of the main goals I'm working towards in the next couple of years, I would like to get the band on a national stage, um, take them probably to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, but my ultimate goal is to um, compete for the Sutler Trophy. Now what is that? The Sutler Trophy is like the Heisman Trophy for college band programs, and there's only been one HBCU to receive the honor of the Sutler Trophy, and that was Florida a and University back in the 1970s. But I will also love to see what happens if, with the first year this program has been revived, if we get a call to go to the Honda Battle of the Bands. So that would be great. I think on um, this program has had a history. They've made seven appearances in the past at the Honda. Just to have those invitations come back to the fold for CAU, I think that, to see the students' reaction, that's what I'm looking forward to. You can literally walk to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium from the Clark Atlanta campus, but the journey to the Honda may require a few more steps for these upstarts. But that journey begins with the first steps they take onto the turf Thursday night at Panther Stadium.